Hi everyone, this is Dr. Prabhu Patel and today we are going to talk about public health industry. See, public health industry is a non-clinical subject but it's pretty important for us as it comes for at least 14 to 15 MCQs in the NEET MDS exam out of which at least 8 of them are easy ones and the remaining are the tough ones. So you need to prepare it sufficiently so you can answer these questions. See, public health industry is a non-clinical subject. We do not give so much time during our undergraduate years. No one studies. I know I had never studied and I know you also never studied it. I never used to go to the postings for the public health. I used to just skip and go to my room and sleep. That's how my public health industry posting used to go by. So, but when I started preparing, I knew I have to study for it. So I started studying. It was tough. It was challenging. But with time, it became one of my greatest friends. And I'm going to tell you how you can do that too. So without wasting any time, let's move on. See, the books that I referred is the Sobin Peter. That was my main book. If uh, if you if in your college they are teaching CMR, you can use that. But I referred Sobin Peter. And one more book I used was Vivek Jain. From for Vivek Jain, okay, I'll show you Vivek Jain. This this is Vivek Jain. I had a PDF of it. For from Vivek Jain, I studied only two topics: biostatistics and epidemiology. It's given better in the Vivek Jain, you can also use that. And some small here and there topics you can also see which are not found in Soman Peter. For dental purse, there is no synopsis, I think. And you can read the MCQ's explanation that will help you a lot in retaining public health. Then moving on to the important topics of the public health. See, the first one is the landmarks community, landmark committees in public health. That is Bhore, Mudaliar, Chadda, Mukherjee, Jungalwala, Katar Singh, Srivastava, Krishnan and Bajaj. You need to know what these committees did. Basic knowledge of water, that is hardness, purification of water, slow sand filter, rapid sand filter, the biological filter. You need to know the differences between the two, proper differences. Waste management, solid waste management, the Bangalore method, dumping, control tipping, and many more there are you need to have a rough idea what are they then moving on to the first important topic that is epidemiology you need to know the tools that is rates ratio and proportions the formula and definitions of them then measures of mortality imr mmr crude death rate case fatality rate measures of morbidity incidence prevalence epidemiology methods Types of epidemics, that is point source, propagated, modern, descriptive, cross-sectional, case report, then analytical, ecological, cross-section, case control and cohort, experimental, RCT, that is randomized control trial. Okay, so during my fourth professional exam, there was this one of my bachelors, I won't take any names. So she was asked, what is RCT in the public health professional viva? She answered, Sir, root canal treatment. And the examiner was dumbstruck. Even I was dumbstruck. What is she saying? Though RCT usually is known as root canal treatment, but in the public health department, it becomes randomized control trials. So remember that. Moving on, phases of clinical trials. For case control and cohort, you need to know the strength of association and the formulas. Actually, for all of these, Descriptive, analytical and experimental, you need to know case strength of association and formulas. Phases of clinical trial, there is a chart, I'll put it up in the video. Then moving on to the next topic, that is dental caries. Stephen's curve, you need to know. Studies on caries, very important, dietary studies on caries. Wipe home, Hopewood house, Turku sugar studies, Christian Dichuna studies. I don't know how it's pronounced, I pronounce it like that. New Brunt study. Karyogram. Caries activity test, lactobacillus colony count by Hadley, then Snyder's test, disclosing agent you need to know, iceberg of dental caries, who gave it, you need to know, caries vaccine, what is the basic basis of it, you need to know, what is the strain of streptococcus used, you need to know, remember that. Then brush, ADA specification of the brush, what is the height, what is the width, what is the number of tufts, what is the number of rows, you need to remember that. Then the methods of brushing. Modified Stillman, Bass, Modified Bass, Vertical Method, that is the Leonard's one, Phones, Charters and Rolls. You need to remember, Interdental Cleaning Aids, Floss. You need to know the difference between the wax floss and the unwaxed floss. Oral Cancer Epidemiology, there is a chart in the Soben Peter, you need to remember that. 
then tobacco cessation counseling the 5 hours and the 5 a's the 5 hours relevance risk rewards roadblock and repeat then 5 a's are the ask advise assess assist arrange fluoride the second most important topic is fluorides the first is the epidemiology second is fluorides Asian conference on the oral health all three you need to know which year they took place and what were the aim of it like Tokyo, Ayutha and Bangalore these are the three classroom based fluoride programs school water fluoridation systems midday meal program names of the school oral health program there is a chart in the Soban Peter you need to look at that that is con consists of tatal tool theta programs like these now moving on to the main part of the fluorides that is RDA recommended daily allowance according to age in the adults, children, bottle fed and the breast fed, various sources of fluorides, shoe leather survey by trendy dean you need to know, fluoride concentration in various parts of the tooth, what is the fluoride concentration in enamel, what is in dentine, what is in cementum you need to know and what is in plaque you know. Five mechanism of action of fluoride, there are five mechanism of actions how fluoride works in protecting the tooth from caries you need to remember that. Fluoride delivery method, professionally applied, self applied, composition and PPM of wood that is parts per million. You need to remember. Varnish. There are three important varnish that is Dura fat, floor protector, and Kerex. You need to know the composition, how are they applied, and what is the method of their application. Topical fluoride, sodium fluoride, Nutsons method, SNF2, Muller's method, and APF, Red World Solution. The, it, it also has a method you need to know. There's a chart, I'll pin it in the video. Moving on, dentrifices. All the types and the composition you need to know. What is the composition of the weekly use? What is the composition of the daily use? You need to remember that. Water control fluoridation studies. Very important topic and quite frequently asked. Like Grand Rapids and Muskegon, New Newbrun and Kingston, Brantford and Sarnia, Evanston Oak Park. You need to remember it's also a table I think in the book and you need to learn that. Moving on, fluoridation methods, non-electric system, venturi fluoridator, saturation, suspension cone, saturation system, dry feeder and solution feeder. You need to have a basic idea what are these and how they look. Also look, look at the diagrams of these. Sometimes they ask diagrams. Age wise fluoride level chart, there is an age wise chart. Then there is a temperature wise chart. I think it was the Galgan's formula. You have to remember that. Just remember the formula, how it looks. You don't need to use that formula. It's quite a big formula and you'll need charts, but you don't, you don't need that. You just need to remember there is a formula like that, which depends on the temperature of the water and the fluoride intake. Salt fluoridation given by Vespi, you need to know. Then milk fluoridation given by Ziegler, you need to know which country they originated and how much the amount of fluoride is in there. Then toxicity of fluoride, very important, you need to know the certainly lethal dose, safely tolerated dose, these two you have to remember. Then dental fluorosis and skeletal fluorosis, what, are, what should be the level of fluoride in water that will cause dental fluorosis, that will cause skeletal fluorosis. Then moving on, you have to know how to manage skeletal or dental fluorosis. It is also a charge in Soben Peter, you need to see that. Then the yeah, defluoridation of water, that is Nalgonda technique, you have to remember that. See, fluorides are finished here, moving on. Pit and fissure sealant, classification of the pit and fissure, that is V, U, I, K. Gen generations of the sealants on the basis of the curing, you have to remember that. There are four generations, self-curing, heat curing, then light cured and UV cured. These four are the generation. Preventive resin restoration, the classification type A, B, C, you have to remember. Then ART, ART you have to remember. Moving on, survey. In survey, you have to remember the Likert, Likert scale and the summative scale, that is the cumulative one. Steps in survey, what are the steps in survey? There is a chart in the book, just see that. Kappa statistic. See, Kappa statistic was not asked for quite a few years, but this time in 2024, they asked a question. I think there were two questions about Kappa statistic. In one, they asked about the formula and in the second one, they asked about the value and the interpretation. I think I was able to uh, give the interpretation but I was not sure about the formula and I think it went wrong. So learn this so you don't make the same mistake. Moving on, in survey you have to learn the National Pathfinder survey and the pilot survey. These are very important. Then moving on, indices. Indices is 
third most important topic that you need to remember and indices you have to learn all the indices because they will ask any indices any interpretation there is no specific there is no favorite that they see they will ask anything for example you have to remember at least remember these ones ohi ohis pigi russell's periodontal index periodon ramford's periodontal index cpitn the probes of cpitn cpitn e and cpitn c that is cpitn epidemiology and cpid cpitn clinical codes and criteria and treatment needs of cpitn dmft deans original and modified both you have to remember community fluorosis index thilstrup and fedgerskov index it's very important it's a histological index of fluorosis you have to remember that and iotn iotn is very frequently asked it's also asked in orthodontic so you need to remember that yeah and for all the indices you have to remember the segments and division how they are divided how they count the teeth what are the key tooths what is the formula and the most important part of all indices is interpretation you have to remember what are the interpretation how it is ranked like moderate poor fair you have to remember that moving on legal ethics and jurisdiction in this topic you have to remember the nuremberg code who gave it what is it types of consent there are types of consent you have to remember that tacit consent written consent you have to remember copra consumer uh, what was it consumer protection act you have to remember that panchayati raj system you have to remember healthcare there are phases of healthcare you have to remember five year plans quite important sometimes they ask they ask in 2023 question levels of healthcare in india primary healthcare phc secondary chc tertiary levels you have to remember what organization or what uh, what hospitals come in that health administrative ministries national rural health mission you have to remember various healthcare sectors like asha anganwadi workers village healthcare workers you have to remember a little detail about them then dental auxiliaries very important you have to know the classification of dental auxiliary operating and non operating they are divided into two so you need to remember that moving on degrees of supervision degrees of supervision is very important it's quite frequently asked so you remember that that is general indirect direct and personal then research and method methodology null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis you need to know the differences between them sampling techniques that is random and non random non random are quota purposive snowball and convenience random are more important that is simple random systemic stratified random cluster multi stage you have to remember that then uh, errors in sampling guidelines for reporting epidemiologic studies strobe concert prisma there is a chart given in the public health book remember that you can just see it or i'll put pin it in the video moving on biostatistics the biostatistics there are quantitative and qualitative data histogram polygon frequency chart line chart and scatter diagram then the qualitative data are the bar diagram pie diagram picto and map diagram scales of measurement you need to know normal ordinal or metric probability distribution p value p value knowing the p value is very important it's used in many formulas and you need to remember what is the p value measures of central dis- tendency measures of dispersion you have to remember them properly they are frequently asked gaussian curve distributive positively skewed negatively skewed and the confidence limit you have to remember you have to remember how the graph looks of the positively skewed how of the negatively skewed and what how the mean median mode is arranged is it in increasing order or is it in decreasing order i i'll put the sticky note i made for that test of sting, significance standard error of mean standard error of proportion and the difference between the two you have to remember that moving on yeah parametric and non parametric tests one parametrics are the one sample t test paired unpaired independent and anova and the non parametrics are the which have the non parametric values but are same like these tests there is a chart in the book you can use that then the t square t square test or the chi square test however you pr- pronounce you it is used for the test of proportion test of association and the test of goodness of fit i remembered it like the like gap gap goodness of fit test of association and test of proportion i remember like that yates correction you have to remember it's for the t square test 
then the p value p value i have already told coefficient of var variance the formula for it sd by mean into 100 degree of freedom statistical errors of type 1 and type 2 it was asked the type 2 error power of test correlation coefficient and this is all the topics of the biostatistics see there are some there are some miscellaneous topics that you need to know which which i added at the end of my notes see methods to check pasteurization of milk bias confounding bias selection bias interviewer bias types of prevention primary primary primordial secondary and tertiary the plans there are some plans you have to remember that like the colombo plan unicef plan the red cross society when it came to india what it did the rockefeller foundation what it did then the definition of disease impairment disability and handicap it's a separate topic you need to know what are the differences between the four then dali index then pqli index sullivan's index human development index and human poverty index these are some of the extra indexes which you have to learn web of causation that was given by macman and cook demographic cycle you need to remember this what are the countries which come in various demographic cycles for example high expanding early expanding late expanding late stationary and declining these are the five stages and you have to remember that principles of primary health care elements of primary health care millennium development goals they are asked remember that there are eight goals and the sdg sustainable development goals there are 17 goals but don't learn them separate separately only learn the mdgs millennium development goals moving on model of the patient dentist relationship that is the guild model agent agent commercial and interactive model you have to remember what are these classification of the biomedical waste it's a chart i think it is divided into red blue white and yellow you have to remember that box and whisker plot box plot stem and leaf plot you have to remember what are these types of drugs types of drugs spurious adulterated misbranded you have to remember what's the difference between the, these three who themes for the last year, last 10 years you have to remember just look it up online you will find it there and correlation coefficient yeah that what the formulas of the specificity sensitivity positive predictive value and negative predictive value you have to learn them many questions are asked so you have to solve them and you have to remember these one z score you have to remember yeah moving on some important points which you need to remember to practice public health dentistry properly see phd is a challenging subject for us it's volatile for us so you need to revise it every one month you can give it uh, like every one month you can give just one day and revise all the notes that you have made or narrow it down to the volatile topics of the public health that you think you will forget just re revise those second point you need to put the spotlight on some topics like indices epidemiology biostatistics and fluorides these four topics these four topics you have to remember properly because these are the most frequently asked and at least 8 to 10 questions come from these topics if you want you can leave the rest you can leave the rest for the later but re revise these topics every time moving on remember the charts and interpretation and the numerical values as much as you can interpretations are very important for the indices remember that practice as many mcqs as possible for public health you will get to know how the questions are framed and you will have a better idea of the exam yeah one more point sometimes they also ask the current indian government policies on healthcare they like to ask that and i made a chart i perfected it for a year i'll put it in the video so just take a screenshot of it and use it and yeah that's it for the video and thank you and have a nice day